Well, at a price tag of a whopping 80 billion US dollars, the Grand Inga Dam project in the Democratic Republic of Congo is arguably one of the largest infrastructure developments on the continent. Once completed, proponents say the dam will develop a power grid that will spur Africa's industrial economic development. Africa 54's Paul Dio reports. The African continent faces a huge energy deficit that has contributed to the slow economic development. But with these challenges, there are great opportunities. There is a huge potential for producing all forms of energy, including hydropower, natural gas, solar and wind energy. For example, when you talk about Power Africa, this is an example of a multi-billion dollar project that, that is uh, taking place here in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Grand Inga Dam on the Congo River has tremendous hydropower potential to light Africa and beyond. It's estimated that uh, Inga Dam will produce over 40,000 megawatts of electricity, more than a third of the total electricity currently produced on the continent and twice as much as the power generation of the three gorgeous dams in China. In the 1970s and 1980s, the former president Mobutu Seseko oversaw the construction of Inga 1 and Inga 2 dams, but uh, most of the electricity produced at the time was for domestic consumption. Today, the Congolese government uh, says it aims uh, to avoid uh, repeating past mistakes. It wants uh, to make sure that the Inga project can be a viable business. The cost estimate uh, at this point is $80 billion. Can you imagine what $80 billion can do? Well, their aim is to export this hydroelectric energy beyond its borders. Grand Inga forces a massive expansion of hydroelectric generating capacity, reaching a total output of close to 50,000 megawatts, with the transmission lines carrying electricity as far as South Africa. And Zimbabwe and South Africa, South Africa are in the, in, uh, together, we had a grid connected between these three countries. If fully completed, Inga Dam would be the world's largest hydroelectric plant. At a price tag of $80 billion, concerns are growing that foreign companies will gain vast economic benefits from this mega project, taking attention away from the development needs of the Congolese people. Furthermore, corruption is prevalent in the DRC, and huge infrastructure projects like this one is prone to corruption. In 2014, the World Bank Board approved a $73.1 million grant to support the technical aspect of Inga 3. But in 2016, the bank cancelled its support to the project, citing corruption. Other stakeholders, including the African Development Bank and the European Investment Bank, have expressed similar concerns. Large dam projects like Inga are widely attacked by environmentalists for their impact on the river flow, which affects habitat and concerns that more than half of the Congolese population has no access to electricity. And yet, the continent's biggest infrastructure investment would all be for export and the mining industries, far away, especially in the Katanga province. Paul Ndiho, VOA News, the Grand Inga Dam in the Democratic Republic of Congo.